Ever wondered which bone in your body is the hardest to break and which one snaps the easiest? It's not just random. Our bones vary a lot in strength, structure, and function, and understanding that can actually help us avoid injuries and move smarter every day. Bones aren't just rigid supports holding us up. They're living, adapting tissues that grow, repair, and even remodel themselves based on how we use our bodies. And not all bones are created equal. Let's start with the strongest bone in the human body, the femur, or thigh bone. It's the longest and heaviest bone we have, connecting the hip to the knee, and it carries the weight of your entire upper body. Thanks to its thick, dense structure and slightly curved shape, the femur is built to withstand enormous pressure. In fact, it can handle about 30 times the weight of a person without breaking under normal conditions. It's so strong that fractures in the femur often result from major trauma, like car accidents, not everyday slips or falls. Now let's flip the script and look at one of the most commonly broken bones, the clavicle or collarbone. It's small, slender, and sits close to the skin across the top of your chest. While it plays a crucial role in shoulder movement and arm stability, it's not built for impact. That's why it's one of the first bones to break during falls especially when you land on your shoulder or outstretched hand. Athletes, cyclists, and even kids are especially prone to this type of injury. What makes bones like the femur strong and others like the clavicle more fragile has a lot to do with something called the strength to weight ratio. It's a measure of how strong something is compared to how heavy it is. Bones are engineered for both strength and efficiency. The femur has an exceptional strength to weight ratio. It's dense where it needs to be, but it also has a hollow center, called the medullary cavity, that keeps it light without sacrificing strength. Meanwhile, the clavicle, though flexible and essential for mobility, sacrifices strength for that very same movement. It's thin, exposed, and doesn't have as much structural reinforcement. But here's something even cooler. Your bones actually respond to stress. That means if you regularly put weight or tension on your bones, like during strength training or running, they adapt by becoming denser and stronger. This is part of why weight-bearing exercise is so important for long-term bone health, especially as we age. On the flip side, when bones aren't used regularly, such as during long periods of bed rest or inactivity, they can lose density, becoming weaker and more prone to fracture. That's why maintaining an active lifestyle, getting enough calcium and vitamin D, and avoiding smoking or excessive alcohol is essential for keeping your bones in top condition. Let's not forget about bones that get less attention but are still vital. The vertebrae in your spine, for instance, are small but strong enough to hold your upper body upright all day long. However, they're also vulnerable to compression fractures, especially in people with osteoporosis, a condition that weakens bones and makes them brittle. Even the wrist and hip are common fracture sites, especially in older adults. And while not as dramatic as a broken femur, these injuries can seriously impact mobility and quality of life. So, while the femur reigns as the powerhouse of the skeletal system, and the clavicle often takes the hit during falls, each bone in your body has a specific role, and knowing how they work can help you stay stronger, safer, and more injury resistant. What about you? Have you ever had a broken bone? Or do you know someone who has? Drop your story in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. And if you're curious to learn more about your body and how to take better care of it, check out my other videos 